uh, students now will try to understand uh, that sound is a mechanical form of energy that it requires a particulate medium for its propagation and also for its generation. And this will show my activity here that we'll uh, take a few apparatus. We require a small plastic glass. We require a few iron filings. We require a mobile phone for a generation of sound. And what we'll do here is we'll place this mobile phone in this glass and we will take this rubber membrane this is a cut balloon and we will just cover the mouth of this glass with this balloon and then this is a membrane not only is it membrane it is also a stretch elastic membrane right earlier it was flaccid like this but now having stretch it is under elastic stretch I'll take a few iron filings and I drop it on this and you'll find that they will be only under irregular pattern. They will not be in a set pattern and they are also not moving because they are not being energized. They are not being energized. Now what we'll do here is, we'll, there is a cell phone inside, we'll dial this number so that the phone inside starts generating sound. There is air inside this glass, the air will start vibrating. In turn, those vibrations or air particles will hit this stretch elastic membrane and if that vibrates, because the vibrations can't be easily observed, we have placed these iron filings, now they will start dancing in a particular pattern and we will observe that, that if they are being displaced, we know that yes, sound is an energy, it is able to do the work of moving these iron filings up and down and it requires a particular medium and sound also is an energy because energy what is energy energy is capacity to do work what type of work is being done here it is a mechanical work where these iron filings having a mass are being displaced up and down shall we start let us see i'll dial this number now you can see here the gradual patterns have been created in these iron filings do you see those Iron filings dancing here. Are you able to see these patterns here? In earlier situation, when no sound was being produced, they were irregular. You see that they are dancing here. That each iron filing has got its own mass that is being displaced. We will repeat this activity once again so that we can observe with more clarity. Yes, I can see the movement of these iron filings. So now we have seen that over this glass, I put a mobile phone inside, I have taken this rubber balloon and stretched it completely on this glass. Now this membrane is completely stretched, it is elastic membrane and on which I have placed three different particles. I have put this uh, thermocol balls, I have put iron filings and a few sand particles. So I got three different varieties of matter which is already on that. Now let us see, once we start ringing this mobile phone, let us see what is the effect. Now all these particles are stationary. They are not moving because they are not receiving any energy. No work is being done on them. Now it is generating sound. Now you can now observe the movement. You see the iron filings are moving. Now I will remove the iron filings. I will put only a few thermocol balls. And you see, they are also now moving. You see there, you can observe it very clearly. Now let us observe for the one last time and to confirm that indeed sound is a mechanical energy. It is doing mechanical work of movement of these thermocol balls. You can observe the movements very clearly. See this, here it is moving, here. So this experiment proves that sound is an energy it is able to do work of displacing this matter on this membrane. Thank you.